I'm Horace Dowdy, pastor of the Oxford Presbyterian Church near Lexington, Virginia, and this is my sermon for May 24, the year 2020. The title of the sermon is Lift Up Your Eyes, and our lesson comes from the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 13. Abraham and Lot had too many flocks, and they decided they had to separate. And here's the story. Lot took a long look at the fertile plains of the Jordan, well watered everywhere. Now this was before God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. And the whole section was like the Garden of Eden. So he chose that, the Jordan Valley to the east of them. He went there with his flocks and his servants. And thus he and Abraham parted company, because Abraham stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain, settling at a place near the city of Sodom. The people of that area were unusually wicked and sinned greatly against Jehovah. And Lot was gone. And the Lord said to Abraham, Look as far as you can see, for I'm going to give it all to you and to your descendants forever. And so Abraham moved his tents to the Oaks of Mamre near Hebron, and there he built an altar to the Lord God. Out of all the human senses, eyesight may be the most precious. From earliest childhood, what you see helps shape your life. As an adult, you can choose whether your vision is high or low. You can choose what to look at. And the Bible consistently urges you to lift up your eyes. And here, in the opening pages of the Bible, we find Abraham and his nephew Lot on a hilltop overlooking the valley. Both are wealthy. They are faced with an embarrassment of riches. Their flocks are so huge they must divide the operation. And patriarch Abraham said, Lot, you take the choice first and I will move in the opposite direction. And the young nephew immediately chose the fertile sweep of the low-lying acreage and moved his headquarters to Sodom. Abraham was left with the hill country. He moved to Hebron set up his tents under the oaks of memory, and built an altar to God. And as he prayed, he received this promise from the Lord, I will bless you and your descendants forever. We now know that young Lot made a poor choice. His vision was too low. Sodom and Gomorrah looked prosperous and tempting, but in a few years those cities were totally destroyed because of the wickedness, and included some of Lot's own family. Abraham's higher vision resulted in blessings upon him and his family forever. Look at another story in the Old Testament. Syrian invaders had come during the night and surrounded the Israeli town of Dothan in an effort to destroy Elisha, the man of God who was giving extraordinary military advice to the king of Israel. And Elisha's young helper, Gehazi, looked out and saw the heavily armed invaders. Shaking with terror, he awakened the prophet. And Elisha calmly said, Don't worry. Our army is bigger. Lift your eyes and look up. The young man obeyed. And there, higher on the mountain, he saw horses and chariots of fire, more than a match for the murderous invaders. Low vision saw only the enemies. High vision saw the allies. Low vision is characterized by fear. High vision brings confidence and strength. Low vision saw only the chariots of iron. High vision saw the chariots of fire. During our current epidemic, some people focus only on the bad things 
which may happen. I encourage you, look higher. Lift up your eyes. Don't list all the bad things that may happen. List the good things that are happening. Focus on what is positive. You have friends. Cherish them. Enjoy the abundance of the springtime beauty which is so vivid this year. Notice how people are more compassionate, eager to help each other. Of course we face restrictions and shortages, but life goes on. The higher you look, the more you can see. You make better decisions. You're able to separate the trivial from the important. You put the right price tag on everything. Young people, lift up your eyes before you plunge into mind-blowing drugs which seem so attractive. Extend your vision. Look beyond. Consider the long-range effects. You don't have to guess what can happen. In almost every case, illegal drugs take you downhill toward misery and death. That's not what you want. Lift up your vision. Carefully examine the facts. In our current world crisis, the news media smother you with discouraging predictions of possible doom. The economy is going to implode. Millions of people are going to get sick. Many of them will die. Shortage of food is bringing starvation. These are the things they are saying. You are tempted to get lost in the ocean of bad news. However, you do have another choice. You can lift up your eyes to the God who made you. You can put your trust in the Lord your God. Just as every piece of American money declares. Remember those words? In God we trust. Those words are probably in your pocket or your purse right now. Remember them. And you can do something else. When you cross Tiger Hill near Oxford Church, you can stop. And look, in front of you and behind you is breathtaking scenery, rich meadows, green forests, abundant grain fields, cattle upon a thousand hills, and shining streams. Look at them. Your heart will be brave again and your arms strong. Be aware that the Bible is a road map toward happy living. Almighty God in heaven wants you to have abundant life every day and every night. And so when the Bible suggests that you lift up your eyes, it's for your own good. Choose to look at what is inspiring. Absorb the beauty which is abundant. It's something you can do. It's free, and it's easy. Let us pray. Almighty God, please give us the wisdom and the will to lift our vision from the drab sordidness that can be down there, but lift our eyes to you and to the hills, and let us find strength according to your gracious word. Amen.